Hello everyone. This is a uh, video about uh, my family building a shed. So the shed itself, uh, it's called, I actually don't remember the name because it's already covered, but that this thing is about probably $800, $900 once delivered in tanks. So it comes with these uh, huge pallet, comes with four boxes. And I look online and, and it's uh, pretty good so far, I think, uh, based on the review. So what I need to do to start is to build a foundation. And I, I opt to go with um, um, cement foundation. And I want to show you what it looks like. So this is a cement foundation that I uh, started building with my uh, sons. Uh, essentially, it's using two by fours it's about 11 by 9 and it's four inch deep um, I just started to level it and leveling uh, based on the frames and I fill everything with cement so I'm not professional and as you can see it's really not that smooth but which is fine uh, what it does it has a liner on the top uh, from from the shed and I just built a frame around it. The reason I want to go for cement is because I want to last. Uh, this to last longer. I have a shed over there, if you can see. So that particular shed is using wood underneath, and it started to rot. So it's been about ten years. I'm not sure how long it will last. So I opt for cement, and it's a resin outside, and hopefully it will last longer than what I have there over right now. Um, it's really hot. I, I had my old gazebo, I wouldn't say old, uh, to block the sun ray, but the rain from outside collapsed the whole thing as you can see here. So not sure if I can ever fix it again. Uh, I'm gonna fix, uh, not fix, try to finish these two sides of the cement, hopefully today and tomorrow and see how it goes. Hello, this is just a follow-up on the video that I just started. So uh, I finally finished the base for the cement. Um, my apologies, it's a little bit loud right now because we had a storm yesterday and the power, uh, uh, there's no power around my area so we had to turn on the generator. Hopefully you can hear this. Uh, anyway, the cement base is done. Uh, now I just need to uh, continue with the work and see if I can build a shed. Hi, uh, this is just a progress of the shed. So we put a few panel. Uh, they are really not that difficult to put up. So we have the corner brace and then we have the screws on the bottom. Unfortunately, it's not complete. So we have uh, the panel FR, uh, the WL, WP, WR, and RL. So these should come in two panels. Let's go. RCR L and RCR but unfortunately it's being replaced with a whole different panel which I can't complete um, see uh, if you step back uh, the two panels are different they won't connect so I try it again by putting all the panels side by side so this is correct that's correct that's correct and everything is correct uh, I have to call customer service to get uh, a new one sent to me, so this panel is wrong. Uh, I guess the quality control didn't really check properly. Hey guys, just an update on uh, what I have done so far with the shed. As I previously mentioned, I uh, took it apart because I was missing these two pieces. So Kader, Kader I think that's what it should pronounce it was able to send these two pieces to me for free so I can continue with the work so far um, me and two of my sons were able to start working on it and spend about um, three hours I believe uh, so we were able to finish so far so we have the shell itself all the supports the metal supports are in um, and we start putting up the roof and the the difficult part is the roof itself so there is this sunlight kind of um, this supposed to snap it in if it's not 
centered it becomes a problem as you can see here and we are having some problems with putting the shelf not the shelf the roof up so uh, the roof got caught in multiple areas so for example right here so this thing is bent and it's going to get caught here and if you're not careful it's going to get caught here on the metal brace and before it goes up it has to be able to latch into the holes which is um, kind of difficult because when you have one side kind of push up and the other side kind of push up they kind of push each other and and do get uh, misaligned so we are kind of stuck at this point um, originally we put in these two panels up but I have to undo them because I forgot to put in the the metal frame to support the shelf right here so as you can see I put this in and this part is missing so this is what I'm gonna do now to slide this out um, and it's getting caught right here so just a matter of push it out and then slide it out and put in the frame here to support the shelf So one thing I think uh, is useful is if you had the WD-40 or any grease uh, that would help with the sliding of the roof itself. So for example here it's going to get caught in multiple areas. Um, it's going to re uh, reduce the resistance so what I'm going to do is spray some the WD-40 on the rail and hopefully that will help in sliding of the uh, the roof itself so I'm gonna just spray some here hey guys uh, just uh, follow up on uh, my shot earlier so as I mentioned the roof is pretty difficult to work with but I was able to do all these four panels by myself without any problems so I think whoever attempt to try this um, should take this advice. So there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. So the clips itself and the sunroof it tends to shift. So it's better that you do two panels at the same time. Okay. So don't do one side and don't uh, go to the other side because it's not gonna work. Um, another thing that you need to be aware of is um, this. Sometimes get caught in these support. So you need to be aware because it's gonna stop the thing from moving and here too so this side will also get caught on the edge and will not let it slide um, once that's done uh, put wd-40 on the rails and it should be able to slide easy and in order to put everything and force it in you probably want to use a, a hammer or not, I, I wouldn't say hammer, but um, anything that, that's strong enough for you to uh, push it in. I, I try to use my hand, um, it's very, very difficult. So anyway, um, the roof support structure is done. So I just need to finish up the door and should be relatively easy. Okay, finally the shed is done. Um, we took about five hours to complete building the whole thing and then I just spent another two hours just to put in the little things uh, trying to finish it up for example um, the the lock here okay I just want to show you what's inside and what I've been done so far so just open this up it hasn't been fully clean yet but uh, almost there um, so there are a couple of things that I've done also inside for example one of the make sure this is bug proof so I put a uh, a screen uh, gluing it on the back end and also on the front end and again just to bug proof it beside that I also caught the roof right here and again just to make sure that no bugs are coming in you know how it is bugs like to live inside things that are warm or dark so this is one way for me to uh, bug proof the whole place you want to use this long term but we don't want this place to be an insect nest so that's one of the things uh, that I've done um, another thing that I've also completed 
is to secure the floor uh, to the cement using the cement screws right over here so there are uh, a number of places that have the cement screws uh, hopefully this is enough to secure the shed from uh, flying away during storm um, and finally I have been working for the past half an hour filling all these holes with uh, plugs that they came in so there are actually tons of them there are like hundreds so at, at test the good I guess trying to make this like uh, place uh, look a lot nicer which I do agree like for example all these holes will all be filled up uh, like this so they look kind of nice so that that's uh, pretty much cover it and uh, Hopefully I can use this shed for a number of years and hopefully this has been helping, helpful to you in understanding how to build this uh, shed. I would give this shed a uh, uh, definitely an A because it's very easy to build as long as you have a flat foundation and you should be able to good to go. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. Please click on the like of this video if you like this and also please do subscribe to my channel as I post more videos um, on my um, uh, YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.